we go. Stand by, camera one. Uh, start your zoom. And you're up. Good morning. Welcome to the KOAM Morning News. We've made it to a Friday. It's 5.30. I'm Dave Pine. Clear. And I'm Lori Pritchard, and it is going Sky to be another hot day. Yeah, we thought that we might get some one of a break from the heat, but that apparently is not going to happen. Dude. We did have some damaging thunderstorms overnight, too. Those have since died out. Here's a look at our temperatures this morning. It's 74 in Joplin, 79 uh, someone's in Pittsburgh, got their headset, don't 75 kill it, in Neosho, Parsons. It's Thank 78. You. Forecast today, the heat advisory is going Stand to by continue two. today. 100 degrees again this afternoon oh, no, and a slight chance for some more rain. Stand by two. More on your weather in just a few minutes. Lord. And cure. A Joplin man could be sentenced to death today for killing his business partner. The capital murder trial of Eldon Tinsley tops are for seven minutes. Yesterday, jurors deliberated for just a half Stand an hour before finding the 45-year-old man guilty of killing his Texas business partner and putting the body in a barrel. The murder happened in May of 2001. The prosecution now says Tinsley should die for his crime with a defense arguing he should get life in prison. Yesterday, during the sentencing phase, a doctor took the stand for the defense, saying Tinsley has a brain abnormality that could be from a tumor or stroke. That abnormality, according to the doctor, could cause Tinsley to act erratically at times. Okay. Also testifying right. for the defense, both of Tinsley's daughters, who pled with jurors to spare their father's life. Tanya Tinsley took the stand three days ago, saying her father admitted he killed the victim. Yesterday, she was on the stand saying her life wouldn't be the same without Roll her H. father. Take the bite. Nine seconds, my world clear. Stand by two. Whoa. Whoops. Stand by two. Oh, hold on. Cure. Jurors were sequestered I'm again sorry, last I night. The sentencing phase will continue today. Jurors are expected to decide if Tinsley should be put to death. Newton County, Missouri authorities think a house fire was arson. The fire, which occurred Wednesday afternoon, destroyed a home on Linden Drive west of Neosho and south of Racine. The Sheriff's Department thinks one of the people who lived at the home started the fire after a disagreement. The 21-year-old suspect is held in the Newton County Jail and faces a charge of first-degree arson. Two teens are accused of stealing Step guns from an screen. Ottawa County, Oklahoma business. On Back on screen. August 14th, someone broke into the firing line in Wyandotte and took three rifles, a handgun and a shotgun, Step and thousands two. of rounds of ammunition. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Department says a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old who'd been in the store a few days prior were identified as suspects. The sheriff says the boys confessed to stealing the guns and showed officers where they'd thrown them off a cliff. The teens have been released to the custody of their parents. They are expected to face charges, including second-degree burglary. The case is being handled in juvenile court. Control of Joplin's downtown parking could be changing hands. Main Street Joplin has maintained the parking authority since 1990. Before that time, parking issues were controlled by the city, and the city may be in control again by the end of the year. Stan, uh, the transfer of the downtown parking authority from Take Main it. Street Sorry. Joplin back to the city is Stan. underway. The city says the change would allow Main Street Joplin to concentrate Clear. on developing and promoting the downtown Stand business district. The city is going to meet with downtown merchants about the change and discuss the issues of space, location, charges, and maintenance. Choose up. Stand by Some businesses two. lease spaces for their customers and employees, and the city says at this time they don't expect to Pull make it. any changes. And take it. Cure. Topping Nation Watch, police Stand in West Virginia have released a composite video. sketch of a man wanted for questioning in last week's shooting in the Charleston area that claimed three lives. The sketch is that of a heavyset white male. Witnesses have told police they saw a large uh, white man in a truck the night here? two of the victims were killed. Okay. Investigators say ballistic tests show all three victims were killed Ten. by the same weapon, a 22 caliber rifle. They were Where? all shot in the head or neck outside convenience stores. Police say investigators haven't determined whether the three murders are the work of a random sniper. Officials had said earlier that two of the killings appear to have been drug related. Alabama's Chief Justice says he can't Ten. violate his conscience two, desk, or his please. right oh, to acknowledge go. God. Clear. So he continues to block efforts to remove a Ten Commandments monument from the state judicial building. The other eight justices have voted to have the monument removed. Stand by Chief Justice Roy Moore says he's disappointed in their decision and will take his fight to the U.S. Supreme Court. And Americans are adopting more foreign children. The Census Bureau finds that immigrant visas issued to orphans entering the U.S rose from 7,000 in 1990 to nearly 18,000 in 2000. The largest number come from Korea, followed by China, Russia, Mexico, Roll and it. India. And take it. 
Thank you. In World Watch this morning today, the too. U.S. and Britain step up their efforts to convince other nations to send troops to Iraq. Thank you. But with coalition soldiers constantly Stand under attack, D including package. another death today, many nations are reluctant to send in their forces. Arlene Sergani has details from Washington. Take it. Today, U.S. troops standard. in Iraq are hearing the news that two more of their fellow soldiers are dead. Details are limited, but the military says one soldier was killed during action south of Baghdad. U.S. officials would not say how the other died. It's another blow to coalition forces who face the daunting task of protecting Iraqis and U.N. workers while searching for Saddam loyalists and weapons of mass destruction. Okay. Now the U.S. Oh, and Britain uh, are asking for help. Jack, right? What we are now doing is Jack looking at further ways in which the international that community like uh, may be able Jack's to uh, strengthen oh, their support. <laughs> Today, British Foreign Secretary Jack Straw picks up where U.S. That. Secretary of State Colin Powell left off yesterday. The coalition okay. is crafting a U.N. resolution that would ask other nations to contribute troops to Iraq, still leaving the U.S. in control. That caveat could lead to a major battle with France and Germany, who fought against the war in the first place. Plus, other countries have no interest in sending their forces into a seemingly terrorist hotbed. Since Tuesday's deadly bombing, the United Nations has pulled a third of its staff out of Baghdad, and bodies continue to be found in the wreckage. Three more victims were recovered yesterday. A previously Sam. unknown group has claimed responsibility for the attack and vows to target Claire. any foreign soldier sent to the country. In Washington, Actually, Aline event. Sergani, the KOAM Morning News. For a second straight night, Israeli troops and tanks are moving into the West Bank town of Jenin. Oh, yeah. Witnesses say it appears the Israelis are making another round WSL? of arrests. No clashes have been Shoot. reported Stand yet. by the queue, Dave. Now here's Dave with a look at our forecast. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. 537 on this Friday well, morning. Been kind of stormy out seven. there last night. We did see some damaging thunderstorms that uh, hit in southwest Missouri through Vernon and Should Barton counties, right causing there. some scattered wind damage there. Now this is a look back at to about 530 yesterday afternoon when there were Safe a few thunderstorms down through parts of northwest yeah. Arkansas and then overnight some more storms um, blew up and then these were big storms boy coming right down and, and uh, odd movement too, moving from northeast to the southwest which is uh, not normal but that's what we had here and this is a look at that storm as it was covering a large part of Vernon and Barton County yeah. and we'll pause it again as it moved on into Kansas another storm that blew up and came through Iola and then more thunderstorm activity through uh, Wilson County around Fredonia. Those have also died out, but now just in about the last 15 minutes, we're seeing some more activity develop. Let's go ahead and look at that by way of live Doppler 7000 in the and oh, there's some rain in the uh, northern part of Jasper County. Here's another little thunderstorm cell in Dade County, southwest Missouri there on the southern end of Stockton Lake and another Parsons storm. Too, this yeah. one's really blowing up uh, quickly in Montgomery County, Kansas, and I would expect these to also be Over drifting on house. to the southwest, but we're still seeing some rain out there, but uh, basically the hot weather is going to be continuing here. The front uh, that we thought might move on through and at least knock the heat down a little bit, that front is going to be right over us today, and that will help to trigger some showers and thunderstorms today, And uh, but basically the heat is going to stay on. Here's a look at the national radar. And that, uh, again, we saw some uh, severe activity up in the state of Michigan. This is the same front. We're just kind of on the tail end of that. The cooler air with that front is going to slide on and basically miss us and uh, move on to the northeast. So we're looking for 100 degrees again today. It did make it to 102 yesterday, another record high uh, yesterday. And uh, over the course of the weekend, afternoon temperatures are going to be close to the century mark with just a slight chance of rain today, hot and dry through the weekend. Some rain chances do return to the seven day outlook after the uh, first of next That's week. Brian's, Temperature is 74 in Joplin this morning. And our forecast, a heat advisor is going to stay in effect today with just a 30% yeah, chance for showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon. Although, as we just pointed out, we've got some uh, popping up out there this morning. 100 degrees today. Tonight's low 72, 98 Saturday, 97 on Sunday. Uh, still in the upper 90s at the first of next week. Rain chances back in there for Tuesday and Wednesday. That is a look at today's Music. top stories and weather in your first seven minutes. Coming up on the KOAM Morning News at 542. Come rain, come shine. There will always okay. be good food and wine on a boat built to live on. Also, one four-state town is in a stinky situation when the city council decides to move a dump 
More on that at 548 and at 553. Whole pregnancy test. digital. You're watching the KOAM Morning Hi. News. We'll be right back. Live from KOAM TV. Okay. Uh, Lori Pritchard. Shot stay. And day pilot with Skywatch 7 weather. Spell imperative. Sentence you can trust. And go. Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. What looks like a hotel is parked on a river in Oregon. In it, Step world travelers. Package. Many are not allowed to board the cruise ship, but Ray Summers explains what life is like in the world. Take it. Uh, While well, most of us were brushing our teeth or getting dressed or riding light rail downtown, the world arrived in Portland, tied up to the seawall. Portland looked at the world. All day we looked at the world and asked questions. Is that a cruise ship? Not exactly. It is more than a cruise ship. This is a home. You can live here and travel the seven seas, owning your apartment. Travel and take your home with you, a place with a view that is always changing. Big ship, you say? Yes, it is. Not the largest, but big. Oh, never mind. Point of reference, the coin tower. Dip the world on its stern, this, the world they? would be more than 130 feet taller. Expensive? It depends on how much money you have. Most of us, it is very expensive. Thinking of buying? Here are some floor plans. Something small, 259 square feet, start around $900,000. If that is too small, two-bedroom apartments begin at two and a quarter million dollars. And three-bedroom, three-bath begin at four million plus, oh, but has nice. more than 3,000 square feet. And you never have to take out the garbage. Nor will you see the same site twice. This world keeps moving. Later, they will come down around South America, visit Antarctica, and up along the west coast of South America, yeah. on Ten around seconds. again. It is the case of every day, a new port, a new destination, traveling around the world. <sighs> Ray Summers for CBS News. Thank you. They wouldn't let Ray on the boat. Stand by for music. <laughs> Obviously. Still ahead, music. Kansas leaders hope the recent tax revenue numbers VR. will continue. And a new program in Oklahoma is aimed at boosting business in the Sooner State. More on that when the morning news returns. Hi, I'm and Jim. And QM. Welcome back, 547. Here's your weather on the sevens. And Zoom. we did see some Zoom. wind right. damage no overnight in parts of southwest mm. Missouri through uh, Vernon oh. County especially and uh, also uh, in Barton County. And a chance of rain today, but the uh, same old tune really is what seven. we've got in our seven-day forecast, and that is hot. Up to 100 today with a 30% chance for rain and hot and dry over the weekend. Lori. And here. Thanks, Dave. It's time now for a check of your force day headlines. A proposed solid waste transfer site is causing a stink Stand in one southeast Kansas package. community. It's supposed to be built near Parsons, Kansas. KOM's Karen Cruzen explains why some residents think county leaders need to rethink that plan. Take it. The proposed solid waste transfer site is located within one mile of nearly 50 homes and businesses. And some Parsons residents think that's too close for comfort. You can't. This is... The Labette County Solid Waste Committee wants to put a garbage yeah. transfer site here on Highway 59 inside Parsons it, City Limits. Okay. And possible health hazards from the station have some people Why in Parsons concerned. It seems to me that it wouldn't be that difficult to find another location to put this. Um, you know, show a little bit of mean human decency, wise. not stick it near the hospital and not stick mm. it in people's front yard. Neighbors matter. of the planned site think odors, noise, rodents, and increased traffic from the station will make the lives of everyone nice in the community the... more difficult. Uh, the future development of any He's businesses that want to come school. to Parsons, any, any people that want to build new I homes. Guess that's the middle school. Uh, guess this is a Parsons story. Proposed uh, transfer uh, station, uh, if it's implemented uh, here, uh, this is one uh, I don't believe state. that'll happen. I but city that's manager that's Mary that's Reed that's disagrees. Um, with modern technology and modern chemicals, it, they're basically very odor free. Um, increased traffic, uh, I mean, you know, it's just that, that traffic no, is traffic. Right. That's that why you have highways weird. to move traffic. Reed says neighbors shouldn't be concerned. Day, so she says the transfer don't. station won't pose the health hazards associated don't with worry, dumps. In fact, she says it will look more like a metal barn Every and waste day, will be transferred day, directly from truck to truck. I mean, it's going to be well maintained. It's, it's going to be inspected by the state. Um, you know, I understand some That's of their concerns, but I still think if it's operated properly, it will not have all the issues they believe it will have. 
Despite Reed's reassurance, many residents remain unconvinced. The site's neighbors say they'll fight this decision as long as necessary. Karen Cruzen, KOAM News. Thank you. The Parson City Planning Commission voted against the site, but the City Commission has the final say over whether to build it. Commissioners will hold a special meeting September 2nd to address the Good. issue. Kansas lawmakers hope last Stand month's revenue screen. numbers are the start of a trend. The, the state screen. brought in more than $352 million, ahead, about $3 million dollars more than anticipated. Lawmakers say they're glad to see the state meeting expectations, but one. they're cautious about whether that will continue in the coming months. July marked the beginning of the 2004 budget year. Oklahoma's governor has a plan to give his state's economy an edge. Oklahoma's Edge is the name of a program designed to boost business in the state. It would be made up of 23 groups okay, overseen by, by a central committee. Governor Henry says the plan will be ready for consideration by the legislature next year. Hit it, Josh. Still to come on the KOA and Morning VR. News, find out how gene therapy is helping one man with Parkinson's disease and what it's telling researchers. We're back after the break. 03 Frontier King Camp. Well, equals a better life. Let Precision Dental Indentures <laughs> help you. Cure. Welcome back to the KOAM Morning News. Uh, Home pregnancy tests are uh, one of the great modern inventions for women. They're fast, accurate, and private. <laughs> the tests have been around for nearly 25 years and haven't changed too much until now. They've gone digital. Dilva Henry reports. Roger. Pregnant or not, Ooh, a simple question, no but one that women that, have been Sean. searching for a simple Read answer to script. throughout history. Ancient Egyptians used watermelon seeds pounded into a paste. Baby, Another test involved sprouting wheat or barley. The classic trips? pregnancy test used rabbits. What? Whatever the method, taking a pregnancy Are test can be an emotional experience. In fact, pregnancy ranks as one of the top stressors for most women. Because the lines oh, it was sometimes are confusing. The I've the actually head. done oh. early pregnancy tests, and sometimes oh, the line doesn't, no. one line comes through really dark, and the other no. one's kind of dark, and I go, well, dark that didn't work. I guess I'll go to the doctor, right. you know? Hey, a little pink, too much pink, not enough there. blue. I think when one is very anxious, yeah. one finds themselves Clear? much more readily confused. Okay. Patricia Mendel is a psychotherapist who specializes in pregnancy Ooh. issues. There's a recent survey uh, that indicates that nearly 80% of women are nervous taking home pregnancy Drop tests. Drop Michelle, I got at it. Which is really very interesting. And, and more than half backwards. report having difficulty reading the results. But at home pregnancy yeah. testing is about to get a little easier. Yeah, that, the FDA has cleared yeah. a home pregnancy test with a digital readout. The we Clear the Blue Easy Digital take, Pregnancy Test that, doesn't Michelle, use like, lines or colors, it uses simple words. Yeah. Pregnant, or not pregnant. No, that's all right. The Don't display also indicates if there's an error. This is the first major breakthrough in home pregnancy testing oh, in nearly a generation. The first home pregnancy tests were introduced in 1988. Over the years, they have become Michelle. faster, more accurate, but now they're easier than ever to simply read. And now at last, women can look at a pregnancy test I'm result not and not have to interpret uh, ten a little line, but instead one. can read in clear black and white words, pregnant or not pregnant. Dilva Henry for CBS News. Cure. And scientists may have figured out why your Stand brain wants H. dessert even when your belly Real is H. full. Researchers looked at brain scans of people who had just eaten a large meal. They then allowed the smell of peanut butter and vanilla ice cream into the room. Scientists found activity in a part of the brain known for processing emotions. Stand by the the activity the died down video. after the patients ate dessert. Doctors say this could help explain why diets Real fail. Deep. The West Nile virus continues to spread rapidly. There have been over 700 infections around the nation. However, nearly 80% of the cases come from Colorado, South Dakota, G, Nebraska, and Jack? Texas. Oh, okay. The mosquito the spreading virus G. killed three people in the past Roll week, bringing the U.S. death toll to at least 14. And, take it. and before flu nice season, job, health Jack. officials warned the elderly to get their flu shots early to avoid a shortage of the vaccine. But this year, the oh, Centers for Disease Control time, says Stand this October one. there will be enough vaccine for everyone. And cure. In today's health report, Dr. Sean Kenneth brings us breaking Semi medical package. news. The first patient to undergo gene therapy in an effort to control the symptoms of Rolex. Parkinson's disease. Take it. The jokester to friends and family. <laughs> it surprised it. no one that Nathan yeah, Klein had got this coupling all the way into medical history at New York <laughs> Presbyterian Hospital as the first person right. to undergo the gene shots. therapy yes. for Parkinson's disease. Before I did the surgery, uh, I wake up every morning thinking Nathan. that, you know, what symptoms there are going to get worse? How much worse is my Where? life going to be? 
and those concerns were a driving factor in his decision. This is like a hair. To undergo a gene infusion the size of one drop from an eyedropper through a tiny catheter deep into a part of his brain, one that is hyperactive in Parkinson's patients. The aim? To reproduce the normal chemical balance in these areas of the brain that a normal person would be expected to have. This gene therapy experiment is part of a phase one clinical trial. That is, it's intended only to determine the safety of the procedure. But the researchers hope that this experiment will soon pave the way for future studies that may one day halt the progression or even reverse Parkinson's disease. For now, the aim is to reduce symptoms, but some experts question the use of gene therapy for this specific goal. I'm a little bit concerned uh, about this choice as the first gene therapy Claire. experiment Look. in Parkinson's like disease Look. because we can accomplish the same thing right now with deep brain stimulation. Nathan says he simply didn't want a brain stimulating device in his body. So far yes. he's doing well. Yes, 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 yes. It will be at least a month before his doctors can tell if the gene yes. is functioning. For right, now he has two. hope for himself and others. Dr. Sean Kniff, CBS News. Thank you. And it's 5.57. Here's a check of our weather on the sevens. We're looking at some rainfall this morning, some thunderstorm activity slipping into Lawrence County in southwest Missouri and there in Jasper County north of Car Carthage right over Highway 71 and another storm in southeast Kansas moving through Independence. Our forecast says a slight chance of rain uh, overall today. Otherwise, just another hot day ahead. A heat advisory continues back up to 100 degrees today. Thank you. Still to come in the next half hour of the KOA Morning D. News, Health Essentials offers new prostheses for mastectomy patients. We'll be talking to them coming up. Also, the birds Brody. and the bees are battling Megan. out. Battling it Whoa. out. We'll have details on I that. I didn't get a KOA script change on this type of We'll be right back. Roll it and take it. Does your local dealership wish they get this change? Stand by one. Oh, I know, he's making a new one. Make it look good. Cue him. Good morning. Welcome back Zoom. to KOAM Morning Zoom. News for Friday, 6 o'clock. I'm Dave Pine. And I'm Lori Pritchard, and coming up this half yeah. hour, we'll have an update on that bar Take fire at the out. University yeah. of Missouri. Yeah. Okay, and here's a check of our weather. We're looking at our temperatures this morning. St. John's Skynet 7, um, 73 yeah, in Dale's Joplin, working 78 on a new one to Pittsburgh, work. 74 this morning in the Osho. Parsons right is checking in with 78. There's another 78 from Fort Scott. Just another hot day ahead. Back up to 100 degrees, a slight chance for rain. Oh, crap. And we'll check the radar in uh, just a few minutes because there is some rain uh, occurring out there. Ooh, stand by but, uh, we'll have much more in just a few minutes. Lori. Thank you. Em. Joplin Health was officials have take? confirmed the West Nile virus has been found within the city. The mosquito-borne illness tops our Did first seven minutes. Man? According to the Joplin Health Department, okay. the West Nile virus sure. was found in a Joplin mosquito pool. The mosquito was found in one of five trap sites set within the city limits. Health officials say the positive test confirms their suspicions that the virus is active in this area. So far, though, only one human case has been confirmed in Joplin, and that was last summer. Joplin City workers will spray Stand to kill mosquitoes screen. sometime next week. Meanwhile, city health officials say you can do some things to protect yourself. On the full health officials recommend eliminating standing water near your home, emptying unused swimming pools, changing water in bird baths and pet dishes applying insect repellent with DEET and keeping an eye out for sick and dying birds. The health department wants to know about any dead blue jays, crows Stand or hawks two. or clusters of dead birds. The number you can call is 623-6122. A Joplin jury will soon have a life, life and death decision on its hands. The jury deliberated for just half an hour yesterday before finding Eldon Tinsley guilty of killing his Texas business partner and putting the body in a Stand barrel. The murder happened in May of 2001. Wednesday, defense attorneys claimed Tinsley's daughter, Tanya, was the real killer, but the jury didn't buy Roger. that. Take the prosecution it. now says Tinsley should die for his crime, and the defense says Clear. he should get life in prison. During the sentencing phase this yesterday afternoon, a doctor took the stand for the defense, saying Tinsley had a brain abnormality that could be from a tumor or stroke. And the doctor said that might cause him to act erratically at times. Both of Tinsley's daughters also testified asking jurors to spare their father's life. Tanya Tinsley took the stand three days ago, saying her father admitted he killed the victim. But yesterday, she was on the stand saying her life wouldn't be the same without her father. Cure. If you don't pay your taxes by today, your property could go up for sale. Today's the deadline for Jasper County property owners screen. to pay back taxes for 2001 and before. A list screen. of the 472 affected properties is posted at the Jasper County Courthouse in Carthage. 
To avoid having your property sold, taxes must be paid by noon today. Property with unpaid taxes will be auctioned off Monday morning at 10 o'clock on the third floor of the Jasper County Courthouse in Carthage. And, and Southwest Missouri Congressman Roy Blunt is on his own tour of the Step area. His 7th annual Ag Tour brought Take him it. to the BASF Premix Same. plant in Neosho, which produces vitamins and other Clear. animal nutrition products. It was one of 13 stops in Blunt's district. Trade representatives from Stand Japan and China and a California congressman were among 60 other people taking part. Blunt says the goal is to highlight the wide variety of agriculture-related industries in southwest Roll Missouri. Deep. Take the bite. Great diversity uh, in 10. agriculture that sort of builds on the diversity, diversity of our whole clear. economy. One reason our economy in southwest Missouri is so healthy is because it's so broad-based and diverse, and even our agriculture has that same kind of broad-based diversity. Cure. Yesterday, Blunt also visited a pecan and walnut Stand farm in G Jasper video. County, a turf grass farm in Monette, and an egg farm near Monette. Take it. Blunt also took a short break from his ag tour to get an update on the rebuilding Clear. effort in Pierce City following the May 4th tornado. Blunt says he's impressed with the cooperation among local, state, and federal Stand agencies. And he plans bite. to make another trip to Pierce City in a few weeks. Pierce City's mayor says the community is looking forward to seeing Roll progress. H. Take the I think impatient. In, in we want, we want to, to get on with things. That's what we want to get on with. Uh, we're interviewing architects to rebuild the firehouse uh, Monday night, and we've already decided uh, where we want City Hall to go and uh, what it'll look like. Uh, we wish it was there today, actually yesterday. Uh, so impatient. That's where we are. Thank you. FEMA has Stand put together a rebuilding plan for Pierce City. City leaders were scheduled to Roll discuss it. it further this week. Take it. Cure. Topping Nation Watch, there has been a key court ruling in the Kobe Bryant case. A Colorado judge says the arrest warrant in the basketball star's sexual assault case should be released to the public, but he's giving lawyers 10 days to appeal. The documents have been sealed since the Los Angeles Lakers player was arrested last month, but news organizations called on Eagle County Judge Frederick Gannett to unseal them. The judge says the arrest warrant two. and related materials should be unsealed, but that other items media attorneys want will be kept under wraps. Those items include the search warrant and other documents that could provide details of the case. An Iowa man could face up to five that, no, years behind him. bars and Stand a quarter million video. dollar fine for making a death threat in connection with the Kobe Bryant Roll case. A grand it. jury ah. indictment accuses John William Roche of threatening to kill Claire. the 19-year-old woman who Stand has accused Bryant of PD raping two. her. The indictment says Roche made the threat in a phone call to Eagle Colorado on July 27th. And take it. Cure. Topping World Watch, one of the five most screen. wanted members of Saddam Hussein's regime has been captured. And on the full screen. He's known as Chemical Ali, and the Pentagon says he was taken into custody. Chemical Ali reportedly oversaw the use of poisonous gas against the Kurds in the late 1980s. He is a cousin of Saddam Hussein. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld says 42 Stand of the two. people on the list of most wanted Iraqis have now been captured or killed. Thank you. A U.S. Special Operations soldier has been killed in action in eastern Afghanistan. U.S. Military Central Command website says the soldier died Wednesday as a result of injuries during operations in eastern Afghanistan's province. On Thursday, the military said a coalition soldier had been slightly injured by a bomb while on patrol in the right, same region. It's not G4. immediately clear whether the two incidents are linked. And now here's Dave with a look at our forecast. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. We have seen some Is showers and thunderstorms across the four states. Yeah. Some of those thunderstorms with damaging Suck. winds across parts Suck. of southwest Missouri. This is looking back at about 6 nah, o'clock yesterday didn't. evening that when uh, there were some <laughs> thunderstorms <laughs> in progress. More uh, fired up in the overnight hours. Really just yeah. exploded and uh, dove right on down, moving from northeast to southwest, which is mm -hmm. almost uh, opposite of the way storms usually move around here. But look at the oh, size oh. of this storm as it worked on uh, to the southwest into Vernon County, uh, Barton County. Uh, Pittsburgh saw rain from that. Iola got some uh, thunderstorms and those storms working over towards Fredonia, Kansas, then dying out. However, we're seeing some more activity pop up over around Independence, Kansas. In fact, we'll go ahead and check that with live Doppler 7000 if we could. 
and point out this rain that's now uh, <laughs> moving on down into Lawrence I'll County and Missouri <laughs> over into the northern part of Jasper County there <laughs> north of Carthage just right over Joplin Highway 71 and then the uh, storm that is currently it. moving uh, in Montgomery County, Kansas through Independence. These are going to continue to do, move on to the southwest. Here's a look at national radar. The front that we thought uh, might bring us some relief from the heat is just going to come up short and basically wash out and without uh, doing us the oh, favor football. of bringing us some uh, cooler air. Uh, we have seen some Fox benefits Ryan. in that much needed rainfall we could do year. without those strong winds that uh, have been estimated up around 70 miles an hour in some locations. But that front again is going to be history around here. And uh, even though uh, the front is uh, going to be around, we will continue to have a slight yeah, chance for more I... rain during the day today. But the big story oh, is going okay. to be the continuation of the hot temperatures, which will uh, continue into the weekend and first of next week too. 71 in Joplin this morning. And I think Camera's it's going to be back up to about 100 this afternoon with a 30% chance for rain today. Tonight's low down to 72 and we'll be back into the upper 90s for the weekend and the first of next week and rain uh, will be possible next Tuesday and, and Wednesday. And that is a look at today's top stories and weather in your first Music. seven minutes. Coming up on the KOM Morning Europe. News at 613. There's a lot of buzzing Watch around the investigation of a fire that destroyed a popular restaurant and bar at the University of Missouri. And then at 616, some Joplin parents went to school last night. We'll tell you why. And at 625, we'll have the Bloomberg Business Report. You're watching the KOM Morning News. Stay with us. Live from KOM TV. That's Lauren all right. Pritchard. He sat down. The, he finished. He finished his words. And the minute Dave he sat Pilot down, you didn't with have Skywatch a chance. You have a chance to even uh, check your shot. Like you can when choosing Ooh, a dentist, okay. because Ten all seconds. of our dentists Stand go through a rigorous qualification process. They're also subject job. to yearly reviews, and, and not all again. dentists are qualified to be 1-800 Dentist members. Call us today. The choice is easy. Thank you. Music. Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. Today is Friday, August 22nd. Oh yeah, it's Friday. Start your zooms. And it's going to be hot again. There they are. Cool. Just the yep. same Stand like yesterday and the day, day before. And the day before. Yeah. Well, now here's a sight you just have to see. Take it. Thousands of bees Zen. have moved into a birdhouse behind a house in Florida, and they're Fair. causing a swarm of trouble for area Very residents. Nice, man. The birdhouse looks brown because of the bees all over it. They think there's about 13,000. Who counted? Police told Good the job. homeowner to consult a beekeeper for advice. That was helpful, yeah. but it wasn't necessary. The bees left when heavy rains Stand hit this week. Two. Neighbors hope. Of course, that they do not return. Kim. And there is a Step lot of H. buzzing about the investigation into Relation. the fire that destroyed a popular restaurant and bar at the University of Missouri. A large swarm of Clear. bees are attracted to the beer and soft drinks in the ruins of the Heidelberg, which burned to the ground on Monday. Still drawing a crowd, aren't they? <laughs> Still drawing a crowd. The investigators just, haven't had much luck getting rid day. of the insects, oh, and it made it difficult Stand for them to two. determine the cause of that fire, but they do think that it was an electrical malfunction in the kitchen that set the blaze. The bees still think that there's a happy hour going right. on. <laughs> <laughs> they had a good happy hour special. That's what oh, I did. God. Yeah, so do I. Now here's a look at what's going on around town. And music. You're on. There's a Red Cross blood drive this Monday from 1130 to 5 at St. Michael's 14, Hall in 42. Girard, Kansas. Thank you. Also, the Red Cross, speaking of the Red Cross offering the free disaster relief training courses, they're free, but you do have to pre-register, and the next one is coming up on Saturday, August the 30th. They're at the uh, Red Cross headquarters, 410 Jackson in Joplin. And it's the fifth annual MASH, otherwise known as Mineral Area Summer Holiday. And it's this weekend okay. in West Mineral, 42. Kansas. Tonight, there's a free bean feed. Tomorrow, a parade. And on Sunday, there's a gospel concert. You're watching the KOM Morning News. We're back after this. An anniversary is something you need. Ding appliance. Cure. Welcome back. Ooh, Joplin parents got an idea of what it's video. like for their children to go to school. Last night, Joplin Ooh, High School held G. an open house for Take parents. It. More than 400 showed up for a chance to meet with their children's teachers. They got just Fix five minutes him. to go from Fix class to class, just like what their kids uh, do one. during the school day. The goal is bite. to get everyone off to a good start. Oh. Roll H. Take the bite. We want to make parent contact immediately 
with the, with the parents and the teachers yeah. and get them together and get a relationship yeah. built so that uh, the, uh, the kids can, yeah. can know that they've got somebody there for them, uh, both we'll on the parent end and the teacher end, and there's communication that we'll have too. Thank you. This is the oh, second year it. for the open house right, earlier in the night. Clubs set up booths so students could see what activities are offered for this year. And now here's Dave with a quick check of our forecast. Thanks, Lori. And it won't Stand take long to, to see that the heat is going to continue you here. We did have some damaging thunderstorms overnight oh, across shoot, uh, portions of southwest it? Missouri. Oh, and uh, still some rain out there this morning. We'll check that in a few minutes. Right now, here's your seven-day forecast. Up, right. up to 100 degrees. A heat Stand advisory will continue today. And, and we will have a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms and today. Lori. Cure music. Still ahead, breast cancer victims may have a new solution to reconstructive surgery. You're watching the KOA Morning News for back after the break. Look right. forward, right. it's too late. Oh and kill them. Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. More than 200,000 women are uh, diagnosed one. with breast cancer every year. And Get depending on the severity of uh, their the cancer, some right. elect to undergo or, reconstructive yeah. surgery and some do not. And from Health Essentials, Essentials rather, Ginger Cooper is here to talk about an alternative that women have now to reconstructive surgery. That's right. Not all women can have reconstructive surgery. So what we have found is probably the most natural looking prosthesis Dude on the market. What we do is we actually, after the women have recovered Zoom from their in. surgery, do a plaster molding lady. of their chest wall. Mm -hmm. well, and then we have this one. prosthesis that is matched to their remaining breast. Now is this a simple process? Um, the X interface. Something easy for the woman to, to do to undergo? Because they've gone through enough. Right. Um, right. It's very it's painless. It takes um, Focus, actually three go. sessions. Mm -hmm. We do a consultation with them, see Zoom if we can get their insurance to cover it. Um, because it is a fairly new Procedure. So yeah, we do work right. with them to do that. Um, the second process is actually doing the casting, mm -hmm. and depending on what type of form that they choose, they can have two different castings. It takes place in about a 30, 45 minute process. We send that off and have their, their prosthesis molded, um, and then when it's returned, we actually do a fitting with them and show them how to use it. So it's very painless and not very much time involved at all. Now, how do women use this? Exactly. It is actually One adhered time. directly to the chest wall. So they can wear it with bras that they can buy at any department store. They don't have to wear a special bra with it. Whereas the over the shelf prosthesis, they wear a pocketed bra, a special bra for those. So this allows them to um, be much more active. It, because it does go against the chest wall, they can exercise, they can play golf, they can play tennis, run, swim, um, they can get in a hot tub. So now, how does it actually at attach? Uh, I mean, is it something that's um, adhe like adhesive? Mm -hmm. It's a, sil a silicone adhesive that is brushed onto the prosthesis, and then actually, I'll show you the back of this. Back it actually two. kind of fits like a puzzle piece to the scar tissue oh, okay. on their chest wall. So it actually fits directly against the chest wall, lays flat, um, and moves with them. So that's why it's important. Um, obviously, this is really made for each individual yes. and, and not just kind tested, of mass produced. And speaking of, these are the color swatches. So right. you have 21 um, different colors right. that you can match to the woman's skin tone. Right. Yeah. And that, of course, helps in terms of you know making it look more natural for them. One pan left um, let's talk about the cost because, as you mentioned, some there health insurance know, companies do cover it, some don't. Up. Is it expensive? It, well, uh, in comparison to a reconstructive surgery, no, mm -hmm. not at all. Oh, that one's it's 1995 for the prosthesis that includes your adhesives, um, the remover for the adhesives, and all of your fittings, all three consultations. So in relationship to the an actual reconstruction, it's very inexpensive. So an over-the-shelf prosthesis runs about 300 mm -hmm. and with that being 1995, I think that's very inexpensive. Now, for the over-the-shelf models, are they not customized for every no. individual? Okay. No, they're not. They're actually, and you can see, uh, um, wrap them up, please. you know, they're very triangular in shape. They do have okay, some that are Okay, this is an over-the-shelf? This is an okay. over-the-shelf prosthesis. Okay. okay. And obviously not every woman is going to be shaped right. to fit this. Certainly. So Certainly. you have spaces that are left. You can't are actually you fill all of yeah, the we were when we scar tissue. Yeah, we were when we went into it. The outcome was 323 and 44. Which is customized right. to, to fit yeah, the woman. Yeah, give them a wrap. Well, wrap Ginger up, Cooper, yeah. thank you so much for being Same here. And if you have any uh, questions or um, would like to uh, contact Ginger, you can call 623-0166. You're watching the KOA Morning News. We'll be right back. Roll it. Take it. We have the Chevy Buick Pontiac in Columbus, the dealer you can trust. 
Kuhn. Good morning. Welcome back. Coming up on 627. Here's a check of our weather. We'll look at the almanac for today. It's the 22nd day Stand of August. The sunrise is at 640. 801 is the sunset time today. The heat advisory continues back up to 100 today with a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Lori. A triple dose of upbeat economic reports sent stocks modestly higher on Wall Street. Lori Rothman has more on what investors are looking at today. Good morning. Earnings news How takes center doing? stage on Wall Clear. Street today. Shearing Plow Two said minutes. next year's profit will Back be off. lower than this year. <laughs> the maker of Claritin allergy pills also cut its dividend by more than half. On the other hand, several retailers are out with better than expected earnings news. The Gap said its second quarter profit more than tripled, led by a rebound in sales at Old Navy and Gap stores. Meanwhile, Nordstrom said its second quarter profit jumped 81 percent as shoppers bought more cosmetics and women's designer clothes. And Borders Group raised its annual profit forecast after reporting a 32 percent jump in its second quarter profit. After this quick break, we'll take a look at Thursday's market action. A trio of economic reports sent stocks higher yesterday on optimism. Growth is picking up. The Dow rose 26 points. The S&P added on two. The Nasdaq rose 17. Yeah, you're at the good spot right there. With less than a month to go before the next Fed meeting, we're talking about interest rates today. Interest rate futures indicate the Fed will raise rates in March for the first time in almost three years. However, Wall Street economists who've been more accurate forecasters disagree. After leaving rates unchanged at 1% last week, the Fed said it would keep rates low for a considerable period and that slowing inflation poses a risk to the economy. That's business news at the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Lori Rothman with the Bloomberg Business Report. Still to come in the next half hour of the KOA Morning News, Attorney Chuck will be in to talk about roommate contracts. And we'll have this weekend's movie previews. You're watching the KOAN Morning News. We'll be right back. Honda's Red Hot Summer has started at Honda. Come safe today at Jay Hatfield, Chevrolet, Buick, Pontiac, Columbus, the dealer you can trust. It's up to a Joplin jury to make a life or death decision. The Eldon Tinsley trial tops our first seven minutes. Plus, the city of Joplin might retake control of the downtown parking Stand meters. And two more soldiers are dead in Iraq. Good morning. Welcome back to the KOAM Morning News on a Friday morning at 6.31. I'm Dave Pilot. And I'm Lori Pritchard. And coming up this half hour, attorney Chuck Leonardo will be here to talk about roommate contracts. If you've ever had a bad roommate, you might want one of these. Right, Who has it? Let's uh, check the weather. Here's Sky 7 over Joplin. Kind of a pretty shot there. There is some rain occurring in Jasper County. That storm we saw a little earlier over around Independence has since faded away. But we're in for more hot weather. Here's a look at temperatures out there this morning. It is uh, in the mid and upper 70s at most places. There's 77 coming in from Fort Scott this morning, 73 in Webb City, 68 in Seneca, and 73 for Joplin, Pittsburgh at 78. Parsons also at 78. 74 in the Osho Scott, forecast today. Heat advisory rotation? continues 100 degrees Same again idea. today with a 30% chance of rain. We'll have more in just a few minutes. Lori. Cure. A Joplin man could be sentenced to death today for killing his business partner. The capital murder trial of Eldon Tinsley tops our first seven minutes. Yesterday, jurors deliberated for just a half an hour before finding the 45-year-old man guilty of killing his Texas business partner and putting the body in a barrel. The murder happened in May of 2001. The prosecution now says Tinsley should die for his crime with a defense arguing he should get life in prison. Yesterday during the sentencing phase, a doctor took the stand for the defense saying Tinsley has a brain abnormality that could be from a tumor or stroke. That abnormality, according to the doctor, could cause Tinsley to act erratically at times. Also testifying for the defense, both of Tinsley's daughters who pled with jurors to spare their father's life. Tanya Tinsley took the stand three days ago saying her father admitted he killed the victim. But yesterday, she was on the stand saying her life wouldn't be the same without her father. Jurors were sequestered again last night. The sentencing phase will continue today and jurors are expected to decide if Tinsley should be put to death. 
Newton County, Missouri authorities think a house fire was arson. The fire Wednesday afternoon destroyed a home on Linden Drive west of Neosho and south of Racine. The Sheriff's Department thinks one of the people who lived at the home started the fire after a disagreement. The 21 year old suspect is held in the Newton County Jail and faces a charge of first degree arson. Two teens are accused of stealing guns from an Ottawa County, Oklahoma business. Back on August 14th, someone broke into the firing line in Wyandotte and took three rifles, a handgun, a shotgun, and a thousand rounds of ammunition. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Department says a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old who'd been in the store a few days earlier were identified as the suspects. The sheriff says the boys confessed to stealing the guns and showed officers where they'd thrown them off a cliff. The yeah, teens have been released the to the cliff. custody of their parents. They're expected to face charges, including second-degree burglary. The case is being handled in juvenile court. Control oh. of Joplin's downtown parking could be Damn changing hands. Desk. Desk. Main Street Joplin has maintained the parking authority since 1990. Before that time, parking issues Stand were by controlled by the city, and the city may be in control again by the end Rudy. of the year. Take the it. transfer of the downtown parking authority from yeah. Main Street Joplin back to the city is underway. City Clear. says the change would allow Main Street Joplin Stand to concentrate two. on developing and promoting the downtown business district. The city is going to meet with downtown merchants about the change and discuss the issues of space, location, charges, and maintenance. Some businesses Stand lease space for their customers and employees, and the city says at this time they don't expect to make any changes. Tommy Nation Watch police in West Virginia have released a composite sketch of a man wanted for questioning in last week's shooting in the Charleston area that killed three people. The sketch is that of a heavyset white male. Witnesses have told the police they saw a large white man in a truck the night two of the victims were killed. Investigators say ballistic tests show all three victims were killed by the same weapon, a 22 caliber, caliber rifle. They were all shot in the head or neck outside convenience stores. Police say investigators Stand haven't by. determined whether the three murders are the work of a random sniper. Officials had Stand said earlier H. that two of the killings appear to have been Relate. drug related. Alabama's chief justice says he can't yeah. violate his conscience or his right to acknowledge Clear. God. So he continues to block efforts to remove a Ten Commandments monument from the state judicial building. The other eight justices have voted to have the monument removed. Chief Justice Stand Roy by. Moore says he's Chief. disappointed in their decision and will take his fight to the U.S. Supreme Court. Secure. Harvard and Princeton universities are sharing the number one college ranking this year as determined by U.S. News and World Report magazine. The annual ADT. survey places Yale third, MIT fourth, and, school, and fourth and four schools sharing the fifth spot Roll rather. It. And take it. Roll it. In World Watch this morning, today the U.S. and Britain set up their efforts to convince other nations to send troops to Iraq. But with coalition soldiers constantly under attack, including another death today, many nations are reluctant to send in their forces. Alun Sagani has details from Washington. Today, U.S. troops in Iraq are hearing the news that two more of their fellow soldiers are dead. Details are limited, but the military says one soldier was killed during action south of Baghdad. U.S. officials would not say how the other died. It's another blow to coalition forces who face the daunting task of protecting Iraqis and U.N. workers while searching for Saddam loyalists and weapons of mass destruction. Now the U.S. and Britain are asking for help. What we are now doing is looking at further ways in which the international community uh, may be able to uh, strengthen their support. Today, British Foreign Secretary Jack Straw picks up where U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell left off yesterday. The coalition is crafting a U.N. resolution that would ask other nations to contribute troops to Iraq, still leaving the U.S. in control. That caveat could lead to a major battle with France and Germany, who fought against the war in the first place. Plus, other countries have no interest in sending their forces into a seemingly terrorist hotbed. Since Tuesday's deadly bombing, the United Nations has pulled a third of its staff out of Baghdad, and bodies continue to be found in the wreckage. Three more victims were recovered yesterday. A previously unknown group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Clear. And vows to target seconds. any foreign Stand soldier two. sent to the country. Jack, I in love Washington, Aline H. Sergani, the KOAM Morning News. Thank and for a second straight night, Israeli troops and tanks are moving into the West Bank town of Janine. Witnesses say it appears the Stand Israelis are making another G4. round of arrests. No clashes have been reported yet. 
And now here's Dave with a look at our forecast. Thanks, Lori. 637 on a Friday morning and not the uh, forecasts you want to hear. The heat is going to continue today. Showers and thunderstorms flared up yesterday evening and in the overnight hours, and we do have some additional thunderstorms going on this morning. This was the big one that came in and uh, really slammed things around in Vernon County. Barton County also getting in on that with some wind damage uh, reported out of that thunderstorm, weakening as it made it into Pittsburgh. Iola got good rain from that storm, also in Fredonia, and in just oh, the last hour or so, we've seen some other showers popping up through the uh, northern section there of Jasper County. This is weakening and we saw a storm move through Independence in Montgomery County, Kansas. That is now weakening as well as it moves on to the southwest. It's oh now the southwestern part of Montgomery County day. and continuing to move what on is, away. To well, we're on the tonight. tail end of a front which is not going to do much in the way of bringing cooler <laughs> weather <laughs> in here <laughs> and basically the uh, hot and mainly dry forecast Where's is going to be the way to go for the next several days. We did make it up to a record high temperature Little yesterday. CBT of 102 degrees. Well, we have that weak front that will uh, pretty much just kind of fade out and it will give us a 30% chance for some showers and thunderstorms throughout the day today, mainly in the afternoon. But again, we just pointed out some rain that's out there this morning. It is 71 in Joplin and headed up to 100 degrees today with a 30% chance of rain. And then the uh, low temperature tonight down to around 72. The weekend looks hot and dry with afternoon temperatures into the upper 90s here for Saturday and Sunday and really not much in the way of Stand relief in sight uh, all the way uh, into the uh, middle of next week. Thank you. That is a look at today's top stories and weather in your first seven minutes. Coming up on the KOA Morning News at 645, we'll be giving away tickets to see comedian Marion Kelly at Family Fun Night benefiting Big Brothers Big Sisters. Also, when moving in with a roommate, do you need a contract? Attorney Chuck will be in to give us some advice and at 655, we'll have this weekend's movie preview. You're watching the KOA Morning News. We'll be right back. Live from KOAM TV. Okay. Lori Pritchard. We have birthdays. We have full and Day Pilot that, with Skywatch 7 Weather. It's the unexpected by Wholesale Beauty Club, 6th and Range Line in front of Target. Welcome back. We're going to check on some birthdays uh, here in August. We're checking out birthdays, people celebrating today, tomorrow, and Sunday. They include Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf. Last name looks like an eye chart. Storm and Norman is 69. Kobe Bryant, been in the news a little bit lately. He's 25 this weekend. Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee is 48. Also celebrating, Julie Jones is 17, and Gerard, happy birthday, Julie. In St. Paul, Garrett Newberry is five. He's a baseball player, you can see. Mm -hmm. Also celebrating, in Diamond, Austin Cash is nine, in front of an American flag, very patriotic yeah. there. Happy birthday, Austin. And Cody Morris is 15 in West Mineral. He's a soccer player, and number 17. Here's his cousin, Jenna Rose Morris. In West Memphis. Beautiful She's four years red ahead. hair. Stands out in the crowd with that. Yeah. yeah full of hair. If only I could have red hair. Also celebrating Heather Ashmore. Ashmore is 12 in Arma. Happy birthday, Heather. Heather is musical, we're told. Plays a piano and clarinet. Oh, again, more talents I wish mm -hmm. I had. Yeah, me too. Also celebrating Bobby Byer is <laughs> Seven Strong. He's uh, done up in a sports theme there with the shoulder pads. Football. Oh, that, oh, okay. Happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> I thought for a second that was a um, boxing club. <laughs> My eyes. So. Okay, Edith Arlene Davis. Wow, 100 years young in Lamar. We want to wish Edith a very special happy birthday. She's, she's as uh, young as our temperature is hot. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates that. Also celebrating Danny Metcalf is 54 in Fort Scott. Danny just survived a trip to Sturgis on his motorcycle. <laughs> Made it back all in one piece. That's a good thing. Happy birthday, Danny. And Bill McNeely is 72 in Granby in Pittsburgh. Got an extra E there for you this morning, Bill. <laughs> his wife, McNeely. Brownie. McNeely. Happy birthday to uh, Bill and uh, his wife Brownie celebrated a day or two ago. And Tom Slack is 78 in Pittsburgh. Tom's a retired fireman. Happy birthday, Tom. Thank Damn you for your service. Also celebrating Nancy Trout in Thayer, Evelyn Rent 
in Fredonia, in Altamont, Jesse Yabara, Barbara Klingen, Klingen, is that right, Dave? I think so. Okay. Is 62 in South Mound, Kansas. Robert Langston is 85, and he's Scott, our Chiron person. Um, Grandpa in law. Grandpa in law. It's kind of like a friend, a mm -hmm. girlfriend, wife, anyway. Yeah. Jennifer Baker is 24 in Parsons. Alrighty, there you go. Thank you for your birthdays. Send your birthdays and your anniversaries to us there in uh, Joplin, Pittsburgh, or Morning News at KOAMTV.com. Everyone around the world, come on, get down. <laughs> hey, our Friday Fudge winner, we're going to send it out to Miss Davis for her 100th birthday. And our friends there at the Oswego Health Mart Drugstore and Fudge Factory. I will appreciate that. Much. I think she will. Some We've got fudge. some more things to give away oh, for you right good. now. It's tickets to the fundraiser for Big Brothers, uh, Big Sisters. It's called the Family Fun Night with uh, featuring entertainment from comedian Marion Kelly. This will be the 23rd, which is tomorrow at Missouri Southern. Tickets are, um, well, let's see, $10, but we're going to give you a chance to win some for free. That's for sure. We're giving away two sets of two pairs of tickets. Well, two pair. That is redundant. Sorry, Mom. Okay, two sets of two tickets to the seventh caller at 2310400 or 6240233. I guess I said two twins the other day and my mother got on to me when I got home. Two twins. Redundant. Shame on me. It's hard to be perfect all the time. <laughs> I'm not even perfect half the time. All right. How about this? Let's do a question of the day for you. I'm pretty sure you're not going to know this one. No. A girl who okay. nearly slices off her thumb making a salad. <laughs> uh, how many tablespoons does it take to equal one cup. We'll have the answer when the morning news returns. Your Dodge winners get their million dollar grand prize. So wake up to the early show, the fastest growing network morning news program. Hit it. Welcome back. Our question of the day. How many tablespoons does it take to equal one cup? The answer is... Oh, crap. Damn it. 15. 16, oh, even Chuck knew that was 45, 16. no, no. Well, anyway, take my word for it, it is <laughs> 16. There we go, there's a the magic number. Here's a quick look at the seven day forecast. The heat will go on 100 degrees today with a 30% chance of rain. Afternoon highs in the upper 90s this coming weekend. Kids are back in school and some of them are getting ready to go back uh, to college and that uh, presents situations where you have a roommate and it may be someone that you don't know. You, have, you see ads in the paper, roommate needed. We're talking about, do you need to, when you get these roommates, maybe people that you don't know or even people that you do know, do you need to write something down on paper saying, okay, you're paying this much for utilities, this much for rent, what do you think? Well, there comes a time when good old common sense has to take over. Dave, I've been practicing law for 22 years. Not once have I ever had anybody come up to me and say, Chuck, I need a contract between me and what happened there? Hmm. Sometimes they want to take a contract out on them, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah, I've, had um, but I've never had anybody approach yeah. me yeah. and say, I uh, want an agreement between me and my roommates. Now, it's nice to have something. Problems, yeah, we've been having problems if you want to put it in writing, that's uh, fine. But then well. again, common sense dictates we're going to split the rent equally. We're going to split the utilities no equally. No you, you got this room, answer. I got that. Yeah, but all answer. kinds of stuff happens. And somebody brings somebody up. You know, any, you can, anything can happen. Where does this stuff end up when there are, are disputes like you uh, yeah. are going to lose your uh, deposit because someone is left or for any number of reasons? Where is this going to end up? Theoretically, in jail with a fist fight or a before we get to that point, and sometimes it does, um, unfortunately, what you're going to have is kids, like five of them living in, living in a house, mm -hmm. they lose a $1,500 security What's deposit. That? Now, supposedly, they might have lost it because, well... John let yeah, the roaches in when he didn't wash the dishes for a week, so theoretically they could all cross-claim against John. In other words, file a lawsuit within a lawsuit all directed at him. But I've never seen that happen either. It, it, there's always a first time for everything. Yeah. So you uh, want to go to small claims court? Something like that would have to go through, through small claims for a number of reasons. Number one, the demand is under the limit most likely because mm -hmm. usually it's under mm -hmm. $3,000. Number two, the Associate Circuit Court in Missouri 
and which is where small claims is part of, and um, its counterpart in Kansas have exclusive jurisdiction over landlord tenant disputes, whether it's a $300 a month apartment mm -hmm. or a two thousand dollar a month office lease. How long is this going to take to go through the, the system? How long? Not very. The Once associate up. circuit and the small claims processes are very streamlined and landlord tenant cases take priority in scheduling. So the long and short of it is you're probably in and out of court in, a, in less than a month. Okay and Which in your a, yeah. opinion it's probably not necessary yes. to Ma a make a contract. I don't think you need one. Okay. There's a the good point when common sense just has to take over before the People dishes pile up. Pot yeah, off, well, that, that's a good point because sometimes <laughs> I've seen that common too. sense <laughs> can mean a lot in uh, everyone's yeah, mind. Okay, if you've got a question for yeah. attorney Chuck well, Leonardo, you can contact him at at the Commerce yep, Bank. I'm at 417-782-5299. And pardon our dust, we're moving upstairs. They're building a new office for all the lawyers on the fourth floor. All right, we'll be looking for you. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Dave. Stand we'll be right back. Roll it. Take it. Announcing the grand the university okay. of the 21st century. Roll it. Take it. Cue him. High kick in movies hit the silver screen this weekend. Jackie Chan stars as Eddie Yang, a Hong Kong cop who suffers a near-fatal accident while investigating a case involving a mysterious medallion. Eddie soon discovers that with a powerful medallion in his possession, he gains incredible speed, strength and skills, taking his martial arts abilities to a whole new level. Enlisting the help of British Interpol agent Nicole James, Eddie is determined to learn the secret of the medallion and face down the evil snakehead who wants to use its awesome powers for his own nefarious plans. The medallion opens today. Another other movies coming out today are My Boss's Daughter, starring Ashton Kutcher, Tara Reid from American Pie 1 and 2, and Carmen Electra. Also, Marcy X is opening. That stars Lisa Kudrow, best known as Phoebe from the show Friends with uh, Damon Wayans from the Wayans Brothers. You're watching the KOA Morning News. We'll be right back. The final day. Kim. Good morning, welcome back. We're going to check the seven day forecast. The heat goes on and on and on. 100 degrees today, a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And it looks like hot and dry weather through the weekend with afternoon highs back into the upper 90s. Thank you. With gas prices soaring this summer, many people are cutting back on their road trips. But one Arkansas man isn't worried about Roll filling G. his tank. Cliff Wilson has turned a labor of love into an energy-saving vehicle. There's no loud turbo engine Clear. under the hood of his car, but rather correct. the hum yeah. of a 21-horsepower electric-powered motor first. instead. Wilson's show car quality electric minute, conversion is clean, just quiet, just and efficient. But Wilson's eco-friendly lifestyle doesn't in there. He also has solar panels in his front yard that act as a backup power right, for his house. Two. Probably a good yeah. idea these days. Yeah. Well, All hope right. your power will stay on because you're going to need that air conditioning Stand by this one weekend. Truck. Try to stay cool. We'll see you back here Monday. Have a great weekend. And music. Truck. If you see news happening, yeah. call KOAM News on your U.S. cellular you phone by dialing pound 7. Siler. Was it an inside job? A report today says the Iraqi security guards at the UN headquarters in Baghdad yeah. may have provided For, help um, in this week's deadly bombing attack.